Hi guys, it's Makats here and welcome to CBMPC TV. On today's show, we're going to be doing a quick overview and short review of the Combat UK Combat Hold All. So the Combat UK Combat Hold All, this particular one is olive green, but I believe it is available in black and tan. This one is made out of a very quality feeling Cordura style fabric which I imagine adds some waterproofing to the actual bag but on the subject of waterproofing the bottom of the bag is actually covered in a very very thick heavy duty plastic style fabric which definitely will stop it having water seeping through if it's on a wet surface so the actual bag itself is very large you can fit a, an M4 in here with stock folded. It looks, at first impressions, like a quality piece of kit. I haven't done an extensive test with it yet, but I have filled it with crap and wandered about with it, and it has held up so far. So the actual layer of the bag is a main compartment, which is accessed by a central zip. The main compartment has no other compartments inside. It is literally just a big, hollow opening that is kind of waterproof. I'd, I'd like to say it's water resistant. The ends both have a moderately sized zip closure compartment, which again has a waterproofing in it, but the actual fabric in between the main compartment and this is very thin. And over time, if you put anything sharp in either of these compartments, it may pierce through. Nothing too major, but something you might want to take into consideration. The front of the actual the hold all has these three identical pouches. I've noticed that these two, the zip goes this way and the center one, the zip goes the other way. I don't know if that's going to be the same on all of the bags, but it is on my one. It's not a, not a problem at all, but just thought it worth mentioning. Again, these heavy duty pockets, very thick Cordura style fabric with a tough zip and quite deep and waterproof bottoms. Again, they've also got covers to cover up the zips. So, you know, like water can't seep in there. So again, that is a pretty good little feature. On the reverse side, we have the actual name of the bag, which is Combat UK, Combat Hold All. This particular one is Olive. Add an ID card or patch holder. There's no Velcro on this. I was hoping there'd be a Velcro strip somewhere so I can put a CBMPC patch or a Magaz or whatever on there, but there's just this sort of plastic ID card holder. So you could put a patch in there if it fits, but it is likely to fall out. It isn't very secure. If you are going to put your name on this, you might just have to sharpie it on somewhere. So when it comes to carrying the actual hold all, the straps are very well secured, attached here. They've got the crisscross style stitching there, which is double layered as well. So it is very well reinforced. They do kind of have a seatbelt feel to them, but I don't think it is the same fabric as a seatbelt. And at the top, as you would come to expect from any hold all or kit bag, it has this typical Velcro loop closure handle which is very comfortable and quite well padded some of them are just really crap and if you had a lot of gear in there it'd cut into your hands this one is very tough very padded if you are carrying a lot of crap in your hold all it does come with back straps now these again are quite padded but if you did have a lot of gear in here i imagine these wouldn't be too great and they are attached again very well with a crisscross double layer sort of attachment. The only downside I have found to these is they are just straight attached. Whereas most backpacks, they would be at an angle so they're at the edge here, which means this here is a little bit too small for the small of your back. So it can kind of nip in. If you're carrying a lot of heavy gear, it can be quite uncomfortable, but it is what it is. It's a, a budget priced discount hold all essentially and it does its job for the price point. So let's take a look inside the main compartment here. So it has a double zip so you can zip it up and down 
when you do get inside it, like I said, it is a big, vast, empty compartment with no other compartments in there. But it does the job. So it can definitely fit your boots, your rig. If you've got a small chest rig like I have, you can fit that in there. If you've got a small carbine style rifle or a sub gun, that'll fit in there as well. You can definitely fit everything you're going to need for a, just your walk on kind of skirmish in this. Obviously, you can put your ammo, batteries, magazines, etc. in the outer compartments, your main rifle, all your loadout in here. I'm quite confident I could take just this bag if I was using my shorter M4 and fit everything in there. So, my overall opinion. This is definitely worth the £30 price point. It is a, a cheaper discount bag, so I don't expect it to have a very long lifespan, but it is quite good quality for the price. It is better than some of the Chinese bags that I've bought in the past, like that S-Zone rifle combo, which I will link in the, in the cards at the end. It feels like a quality built bag, which is something I was looking for. Obviously, this is just a temporary stopgap until I pick up a, a 5.11 cams. I just needed something for now to get my kit to and from a gaming because my normal bag, the zip bust on it last time, and I had to just throw it all in a sports holder, which wasn't quite big enough, wasn't quite strong enough to carry the gear. So I think this is going to do me for a good six, seven months, and then I'll pick up the cams. So this gets the, on first impressions, it gets the CBMPC seal of approval. And I definitely recommend picking this up as a, an entry level kit bag. It's also ideal for if you, not just airsoft, if you are playing any other sports or going swimming, because for some reason, swimmers need to take a massive kit bag to the, to the sports center with them, with just a towel and some goggles in there, swimming trunks. I've, never understood why swimmers do that if somebody could enlighten me that'd be lovely but yeah definitely impressed with the build quality of the combat uk combat hold all it is recommended if i have any bad experiences with it in the future i will make an update video and let you know but for now this bag is pretty balls deep so i'm a gaz this has been a cbmpc tv short review thanks for watching if you have enjoyed this video and found it useful Leave your abuse down in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down as you feel appropriate. And don't forget, you can now actually support the channel on patreon.com slash cbmpc. But again, like I've said before, do not feel obligated to support us. We'll continue to do these videos no matter what. So that's just there if you really like us and you want to get balls deep with us. But for now, I've been Magaz. This has been CBMPC TV. And remember, kids... The air may be soft, but our balls are hard.